Hey guys, hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Devon Shade if you are new. So today we're going to be talking about Tammy Rivera. I know if you're looking at this picture, this look like fucking Tammy Rivera, just with no makeup on and probably younger. Uh, this is Natina. Natina. Uh, she was from the group Black, okay? And um, Natina plays the role of Tammy Rivera, right? So let's break all of this down real quick. So, Natina was part of this uh, music group, R&B group, uh, that was founded and created by, um, that was founded and discovered by Lisa Left Eye. So, some things I'm going to point out, some scripting that's going on already with this. So, she was born October 28th, okay, dies October 26th, fake dove, they always do it right around the birthday, it's either going to be before two months before three months before it's always going to be somewhere near the birthday this one is so fucking fake and obvious they did it literally two days away from her birthday okay she died at 32 33 still no difference um she would have been 33 but she died at 32 32 is 23 backwards 23 means scripted in gematria means everything is scripted i've talked to you guys already about that go watch the movie in the number 23 um, it's all about gematria and everything and it really just shows that things are just fake as shit and it's a good way to see how fake things are so um even if her birthday was to happen and she was still alive she would have been 33 even when they was to you know kill her or whatever so then um so november 3rd is when they buried her of course the third they love doing that and then the 11th is the november is the 11th month they love using double numbers when they do things uh, such as 11 or 22 and stuff like that or 33 you know so natina she played in movies like bring it on which is one that a lot of people probably have seen especially if you're a girl you've seen those movies okay so one thing i want to point out she died in 2012 tammy's career started in 2012 what's the coincidence of that so let's talk about tammy real quick so of course tammy's born on the 30th it's all scripted and you know weird and tammy also makes music too just a lot of connections there so natina let's talk about this real quick so um this whole thing is scripted okay um i can't go all through the articles due to the sensitivity on youtube i cannot do that however i will be doing more stuff like that on the patreon which is linked down below and uh later we will be making a gematria channel where we just sit and talk about all these fake um incidences and just like break it down and just talk about the scripting and the gematria with it because that stuff is really interesting to me and uh i think it'll just be pretty pretty cool to talk about it and teach you guys one thing i want to point out in this one right here it says that she was raised she was that she was born in new york city and raised in atlanta georgia so pay attention to the georgia connection here okay she goes in the movie bring it on and here goes tammy they have the same exact face it's actually disgusting how obvious this is and it's really sick honestly and here she and here she go again so she looks like tammy even with Tammy saw side profile they both have the same side profile but one thing I want to point out about these two characters they have that rounded face and that same nose it's like it's too obvious dude it's sickingly obvious I found this one off intuition uh, a video had popped up on my thing and um it was like Beyonce's 21st birthday thing and so I was like okay I'm just gonna look at it to see how these people act because they're weird and they're like faking like they're real they're not even real like they're creatures or some sort of thing and um so Beyonce had all these people there and she had all these music groups there. So Natina and her music group, they had got interviewed of why they was there. And I said, is that Tammy? And then I was like, that's not Tammy. And I was like, is that Tammy, bruh? And I kept looking. I was like, that couldn't be Tammy. She wasn't even out back then. And it's her, you know? So I'm going to put that video at the end for you guys to see. So still her. This is Natina and Tammy. She's squinting her eyes in this, but still same person, same face, literally. So this is her when she went to jail. Purposely, they tried to give her the bad rap. Like, um, she was just going through a major downfall before she uh, passed away. Fake passed away, I thought. And this picture is blurry, but you still see the same person. And here we go. This, who do you guys think this is right here? I want y'all guys, I want y'all to guess. Who throwback pics do y'all think this is right here? 
I'll tell y'all, that's Natina. Looks just like Tammy because they are the same person. Now, Natina dated this guy named Karo. Keep in mind, she has makeup on here, so she is going to look different. Her hands are very discolored. And there's this artist that be with all the California um, rappers like Tupac. Tupac then had Corrupt on a lot of his songs. And the connection with this is that Tammy is born in as a state um california so that's a major connection so um corrupt and natina had a song together called it's over i think that's kind of mockery uh because it is basically she's saying it's over her character so anyway um it says how did tammy rivera get famous she was on the 2014 uh love and hip-hop okay atlanta edition so i told you guys natina was raised in Atlanta, okay, in Georgia, okay, and she just so happened, her new character, Tammy, just so happens to be on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, and she's from California, and Corrupt, who is Natina's ex, or person she dealt with before she fake passed on, is from California, and her new character just so happened to be born in California, it's crazy shit, right? So here go this fake couple right here. Um, honestly, it's just all fake and scripted. So Tammy looks just like Natina in this. This is like some old pictures of Tammy, of course. Another thing I want to point out before I end this video, because it was a really quick video just to go through everything. And before I play the clips that look just like Tammy, I want to say this. In my Waka Flocka video, a lot of people got their feelings hurt and I don't know why. Uh, these people, I don't know why y'all are attached to these people. They're not your friends. They don't love you. They're not attached to you. And they're not even real people to begin with. I say this in the sense, I say they're not real people in the sense of they don't, they're not like you and me. They're not born the same way you and me are born. Um, I'm going to have a series coming out about invertedness. And I think me talking about invertedness will actually help you guys realize that they, they plant people and they invert regular people and they do all types of weird shit from the very beginning and um you know it's just they can easily plant people in your neighborhoods they can easily plant people as your family members and um those people be involved with some occult or something like that so you guys can say that y'all met these people i believe y'all 100 percent but taking consideration of what i'm saying that these people just ain't real people in your everyday life are just not real and um just be mindful of that you know and try to realize that not everybody's real you feel me so natina reed faked her dove and she plays the role of tammy rivera thank you guys so much for watching i'm natina formerly of the group black and i'm here with the group risen because it's pop it's r&b it's rock it's soul i mean it's all of that combined in on one album you know mm -hmm. we even got a latin feel to one of our songs so mm -hmm. it's a lot of different cultures put on one hour. I'm like, yeah, I, like, so...